Hey guys, Stellar here. I'm back with another Stellar Speaks video for you guys. And today I'm just going to be sharing some of my thoughts about all the fakeness that I see on YouTube and just kind of like what's real, what's not, what people should take to heart, what people shouldn't take to heart. And I don't know, just kind of random stuff that I was thinking about. Just thought I'd sit down and share that with you guys. Very quickly though, before I move on, these are some pictures of the Grand Canyon that I took. We took a trip up there this summer. I've been there a few times and I have to tell you guys, it is absolutely amazing each and every time I have been there. If you can get there, I would definitely recommend going there. The pictures are beautiful, but to see it in person is just breathtaking. And it's just absolutely gorgeous and amazing. All right, so back to the topic. Um, I'm talking about the fakeness that is all over YouTube. And I'm sure it's all over YouTube, but I'm just talking about this little quote-unquote drama community that we have because this is where I am. I have been in other communities, but you know, I have to say I have not seen this level of um, involvement in other communities. Now, this is just me speaking for myself. I was in kind of like a movie-making type how-to-do community where you learned about making videos and all that. And yeah, people would chit-chat, but I had never really seen like the quote unquote friendships that get formed or, you know, the falling outs with friends that has happened. Maybe because I've been in this community longer, I don't know. But, you know, that's one of the things that really has bothered me the most. I don't know if bothering is the right, it maybe upsets me, would be a better choice of words is I don't like to see when people get so entangled in all of this and get upset and get hurt where they are watching a creator go with a storyline and they're buying it and they're getting sucked in and intrigued and involved and, and letting it take over and then they find out that it's not real, that it's all just fake, all made up. Or when I have seen people form what they thought were friendships only to find out that those people really weren't who they thought they were. And that has been the most hardest part for me, being in this community, because I've seen it happen time and time again. And why people haven't learned, I don't understand. I myself, I'm very guarded, and I will always be that way. Um, I'm here just to, you know, spend some of my free time. I enjoy making videos. I enjoy sharing my thoughts and opinions for those who are willing to listen and I don't want to say I'm not here to make friendships because I have. I have formed friendships with many people, but I have never crossed that line where it goes from this little YouTube realm to real life. And not because I distrust these people, but I distrust so many people who are out there just to create chaos. And I see it more and more. And it just really has me thinking, like, why do I stay here? Why do I stay here? Why are... Good people amongst these Looney Tunes, I'm sorry for lack of a better word, who just want to create chaos. And it just reminds me of like the kids on the playground. You know, they just, they want to keep it going. And it's like, oh, you're talking to that person? Well, you're not my friend. And then next thing you know, those two are friends again. And then they are talking about you, sharing what you shared with the other person. And they're using that against you. And then they're getting this little army against you. And it goes round and round. And I just sit back and think to myself, what am I dealing with? Am I back in whatever, third grade, however you are old and 10 years old, am I back in third grade with these same girls that were so petty? fighting over, oh, well, that boy likes you, and I like him, and now I don't like you. I mean, is that really what it's come down to? I'm thinking to myself, aren't we supposed to be mature adults? But then I see this stuff going on, and I'm like, what the hell? Why? Why? So what I have done for myself, I just stay away from that. I stay away from that. If I see anybody that behaving that way, I don't want nothing to do with them. Yes, I will always be cordial with everyone because that's who I am. That's how I am. But if I don't like you, it just means I don't interact with you. And yes, it is that easy. 
it is really that easy. You know, I had a person come to me a while back in my DMs, and they're like, oh, I saw so-and-so left um, a comment on your Twitter. Um, oh, don't you think you should block them? And I'm like, block them for what? I'm thinking this to myself. Block them for what? You're the one that has the issue with them. And secondly, it's my Twitter. Hello. But I, I didn't comment back like that. That's not me. I just very kindly said, you know, um, I have a public Twitter and I have made the decision to not block anyone because it's a public Twitter. The only thing I will do is just not interact with that person. Or if it's something very bad, I will delete that. But your issue is your issue. And I don't think they understood that, but whatever. Um, it just It's funny to me how people will do that. They kind of pressure you to not like a person because they don't like a person. Don't like this person because I have an issue with that person. And I mean, I get it, especially if you're friends with that person, I get it. But again, we're all adults here and we're all supposed to be making our own choices. And I don't run with the little crowd, the little group. I'm not trying to fit in in a a group, you know. I'm, I'm enough group for myself. And for those people who like me and enjoy me, I appreciate you guys, you know. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't like that. I don't take kindly to when people come and, you know, try to tell me, uh, who I should and shouldn't have on my Twitter or even in my comment section on my videos. Um, yes, if there's something that is very mean or nasty or just cruel, I'm going to delete it. But, um, I just don't believe that on a public Twitter, I need to block anybody and I just won't do it. But anyway, um, you know, it, it just, it's, I've had a few people kind of uh, rub me the wrong way and I just keep away. I just keep away. You know, I had one person get really upset because I didn't divulge a little bit of private information about myself. And they were like, well, how do we know uh, you really are who you say you are? So, well, first of all, I'm not here to prove anything to anybody. I'm here to make videos because I enjoy making videos. I'm here to... Um, share my thoughts and opinions because I enjoy sharing my thoughts and opinions. I'm not here to share my life, my personal life. What goes on in my personal life, what I choose to share, that's up to me. Uh, That person didn't take that very well either. But you know what? It's their loss. It's their loss. I'm grown. I'm a grown adult woman. I don't need to prove anything to anyone. I don't need to jump through hoops, through circles, through anything for anyone. I don't need to sit on here and say, oh my gosh, well, you guys were saying this, so let me debunk that by showing you this. You guys are saying that, like, I didn't lose weight. Oh my God, look at my pants. They're, like, falling off me. Oh my God, you guys are saying I didn't eat a bagel. Look, look at my crumbs on my plate because I ate a bagel. I don't get that. I do not get people having to come on and debunk the stupidest of things. I don't get that. So I sit back and I laugh because it's just so stupid to me. But, okay, this is my whole take on this whole little friendship and connections and all this. In this little area that we are in, that we are stuck in, many of us, you know, don't have outside jobs. Um, Many of us can't work. Many of us are home all day. Many of us aren't very social, don't like to be very social. So we have turned to... YouTube, to find connections with other people, to have communications with other people. Sometimes people take that too far or they expect a little bit more. But in order to protect yourself, people just need to be a little bit more careful and a lot less gullible. The storylines that we're hearing, they're not all true. The creators that we're watching, they're not all real. The friends that we are making... They're not 100% who they say they are. And I mean, granted, there are some people who are really who they are. But I mean, come on. This is the YouTube. We could be anybody we want to be. I could come on here and tell you guys that I live in a five-story house. Drive a Mercedes Benz. If I'm not showing it, you wouldn't know it, but you're just taking my word for it. But I don't. Um, And I am who I say I am. I'm not trying to trick anybody to think that I'm anything that I'm not. I'm goofy. I speak the words that 
I come up with. I'm not sitting here reading from a book or I'm not stealing anybody's thoughts. If I have thoughts and opinions that are my own, I share them. I don't pull from anybody else's. I'm not letting anybody influence me and say like, oh, you should feel this way. You should think that way. The Nana character that I came up with, um, she's a lot of me. She's the snarky part that I wish could come out, but I was brought up and taught to be respectful of others. And her southern twang, I guess you could say, is just an accent that I used to do when I was younger, and I absolutely love to hear people speak like that. And that's the accent I use. I can do another accent. Uh, You know, my Rosa has another accent. Yes, those are characters, but there are little bits and pieces of me. But I am not here to try to fake anybody out and be something that I'm not. If you were to meet me in real life, this is who I would be. If you did something I didn't like, I would tell you, but I would do it in a way that was gentle. I wouldn't do it in a way to hurt you. And all my thoughts and opinions, yes, I can be kind of snarky, but I try to do a balance act where there's good or or where I see bad, I'm going to try to find the good. Now, granted, there are times where I just, no, I can't find the good. And it is what it is. But, um, you know, this whole world of YouTube is fake. It's, It's fake. And that's the way... I wish many people would look at it that way. Again, I understand they want to have that connection. They want to have the friendship, the communication. But there has to be a time where you sit back and just say, hey, I'm not going to let myself get hurt or taken. I'm not going to let myself look like the fool. I'm not going to let myself sit back and be the butt of their jokes. Because it's not good for you to feel that way. And there's many people out here who are, I mean, pretty much getting off on it. And it's gross. It's really gross. Um, But, you know, we're seeing these storylines come up left and right. And I see so many people getting upset. And I'm just thinking, hey, look at it like it's just fake. This person has to embellish everything in their lives because they have absolutely nothing going on in their lives. But yet, they will sit there and say... Well, you guys are just talking about me because you have nothing else going on in your life. You know, you have to talk down on me because you're so upset with your life. So then you have to pick me apart because you're just so upset and there's nothing good good going on in your life. And I'm just sitting here. Um, that's a bunch of malarkey. But say what you got to say to make yourself feel better. And we hear it time and time again. Or, or the whole... Oh, you're just jealous. You're just jealous. Honey, (laughs) believe me, I ain't jealous. I ain't jealous. I mean, okay, maybe I'm jealous that, you know, somebody can take pills and lose weight that easily. Whereas I got to watch every carb I eat, you know. But I might be a little bit jealous of that. But not really because, yeah, yeah, you know where I'm going with that. You know where I'm going with that. But anyway, I just, I don't know, these were just some thoughts that were going around in my head. And um, just for those of you who get a little bit too involved and always seem to get a little bit too agitated, just think of it as you're watching a reality show. Oh, wait, what? You guys think reality shows are real? Do you really? (laughs) Let me tell you, I did too. I did too. When I first watched reality shows. I thought everything was real. I think these thought these were great because, hey, no script and it's going to go whichever way it can. This is so awesome. I was really into the shows and everything was like, yes, this is real and this is so cool. And I have a friend who's an actress. Now she's not no big name actress, but she does uh, reenactments. She does, uh, what do they call them? Like extras in movies. Uh, she sings, she does a lot of these. She's a performer. And we were talking about this. This was a maybe about two years ago, maybe a little bit longer. We were talking about this, and we were talking about reality shows. And she says, well, you know nothing's really real. You know it's all scripted, right? I said, no, it can't be. You know, they just let the cameras go. And she's like, no, 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 no. Come on, you really think that they're just going to let a bunch of people go rogue and just do whatever? There's a script. There's a storyline. There's an outline. 
And, and I'm just like, no, no. That's what people who don't believe in the reality shows are thinking. That's not real. And she says, you know that I was on a very popular judge show, right? I said, no, I missed it. What? And I'm thinking, girl, what did you do to get your case heard on TV? What'd you do? And she goes, well, it wasn't my case. What do you mean it wasn't your case? She goes, those aren't real. Those are actors portraying cases. And I, she burst my bubble that day. And I was thinking, what do you mean? But no, no, no. That, I, they say actual people, real cases. She's like, yes, they're real cases that are pulled from files, and we as actors play them out. They tell us how to react. They tell us the outcome. They say, okay, now when the judge says this, you have this kind of reaction. And then when the plaintiff says this, you say this. And I'm like, what? No way. You're kidding me, right? You're lying. And she's like, no. She showed me the link to what her thing was. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, are you serious? So that kind of slap me in the face with reality shows and the more I started watching and I'm like yeah she's right these have to be scripted now granted they are scripted to a certain point and I'm sure they're like okay yeah get mad go ahead you know say this and when she gets mad really react but just don't throw her through the window you know but get close like get her up against the window but just don't push her right but the, but we want to see that and I'm thinking oh okay you know um wow so that's how you have to look at all of this YouTube stuff. You know, it's it's all an idea. There's a script. Even with um, my I Got Poop in the Mail storyline, that was made up. That was a parody. I really didn't get poop in the mail. Um, yes, I thought it would be something that would get somebody's attention. And yes, I did pull from another person's storyline, which was a bunch of poop. Um, I happened to come across this poop emoji mug and I thought, hey, this would be a funny way to say, hey, I got poop in the mail because I really do think that the other person who had a poop story got maybe like a poop pillow and then just kind of spun it. But that's what I did in my video. I used my poop emoji mug. I got a box from the mail uh, office, post office, and pretended to mail it to myself. I opened it up on camera and I said, oh my gosh, look, I got a poop. That was on my nose channel. I'll leave the link up in the corner somewhere. If you guys haven't seen that, check that out. And it was totally made up. It was just a parody I did. But I will tell you this. I had a few people come to me in my DMs and they wanted to know if I was okay. And they wanted to know if I ever figured out who sent me the poop in the mail. And I'm just thinking, oh my gosh, that wasn't real. It was fake. I sent it to myself. I bought the poop myself. And, you know, so it's like I wasn't trying to trick anybody, but there are some people who don't know how to decipher what is true and what is not true. And I never do anything malicious in the way that, like, oh, I'm going to fool you. <laughs> I got you, sucker. Never. What I do is to get laughs. But there are some people who are on these platforms who do just that. Fake people into hey, you know, this happened to me, and can you give me some money? Um, I don't agree with that. But as far as making up a storyline, of course, that we have to script something, especially for those of us who aren't sharing real-life experiences. But you know what? Even the people who are sharing the real-life experiences, you know they embellish their stories. Come on. You know they do. Um, but there are just some people who just take everything to heart and they believe everything and that to me is the part I don't like because I do see it on Twitter where they get upset or they get hurt when they find out you know that wasn't true and um, I don't know I, that's the part I don't like so I'm never going to intentionally do something that is going to make somebody think something different if you know what I'm saying especially like in my parody so if I'm doing a parody it's a parody but, you know, anymore, I've gotten to the point where it's just like, who cares? Screw it. Let's just start making up stuff left and right. Because if these people have no problem getting on their platform and making up that they have slept with 100 men in one week, um, then just roll with the punches and just have at it and go with it. Yeah, that person says that, and then they get upset because people are talking about it. But, you know, that's how, that's how that broken record plays. Life is a cabaret, y'all. Life is a cabaret. Mm. 
Oh, good grief. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say about any of that. Just some random thoughts. I've probably been all over the place. But the bottom line is, what I want people to take away from this is, when you are watching these creators on YouTube, remember, there's always going to be a storyline and a script behind anything that is put out there. Unless you've got a person who is doing like real lifetime vlogs and is actually there to help people, to, you know, just try to educate people. You can't buy it. And in this drama-filled community, I don't think we have any channels that are like that because this is all about the drama. People want drama. Look at the numbers of people. Look at their videos. The videos that get watched the most are the drama-filled videos because that's what people want. We are in a drama community. So these people who come on like, I'm not doing drama anymore. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to color... I'm not going to do drama anymore. I'm going to color my numbers. I'm going to bake cookies. I'm going to dye my hair. Oh my gosh, I'm going to preach out of the scripture today. I mean, I'm not saying don't do it. Go for it. But you ain't going to get the views that you want. And you're going to be back in the drama. Because we're in a drama-filled community. I'm always going to be a jokester because that's what I do. But I could tie in my jokes with the drama. And that's what I do, and that's what I'm going to keep on doing. All right, well, now I'm just kind of babbling all over the place, and I've got things to do. But that's all I'm going to say about any of this right now. Again, I apologize if I just sound like a raven loon. Um, but that's all I'm going to say about any of that. And I'm going to go ahead and get off because I have just lost my train of thought. Anyhow, remember, each and every one of you are awesome. Now go out there and make it a stellar day.